I mean, did you guys actually happen to know each other before BTR, or did you all kind of meet once casted? I um, had met Logan at a party at Cody Lindley's house. <laughs> and this was before the show. And I remember, because Cody likes to play music. Mm. Um, I haven't hung out with him in a long time, but back then we were seeing each other a lot more. But he likes to play music. So we were at this party and there was like a bit of a jam sesh happening. He had a house that had sort of like a back area that was nice. like a back house that was like a studio. It was built to be a studio. Cool. And I remember playing guitar and I remember playing, uh, I think it was Sunday morning. Oh, I love that song. Right. So I was playing Sunday morning and then Logan was there and he started singing it with me. And I was like, oh, this is really good. Guy, he's got a great voice. You know, I think that's really cool. And that. then we like chatted a bit. And maybe I had seen him maybe one other place. Mm. And then I remember they, they had already booked the show at that point. Oh, wow. So they were they were on hold because they had booked the show. And there was a guy who who I inevitably replaced. <laughs> um, and they filmed a pilot and then they kind of switched things around. So then the three guys were still there waiting and then they recasted. And then I eventually got to, I didn't meet them at the audition. I didn't meet them at callback. I met them at the network or actually before the network audition, they had like boy band boot camp. So oh. it was, it was me and two other guys uh, auditioning for the part that I was going for. Right. And they had a vocal coach, they had an acting coach, and they had a choreographer. Crazy. And so they put all three of us through the ringer with all three of them. And their job was basically to say, uh, yeah, you know what, he's the, either one of these guys, they have a great voice or uh, this. So I, I passed the singing thing. Um like I was like really surprised cause I'd never sang professionally at all. Really? Um, yeah. I mean like I sang for friends and I had a band with my right. buddy Dustin, which we ended up having after, but yeah, like I hadn't, I hadn't ever like really performed or anything. So I, I wasn't super confident about it, but mm. I, they were like, Hey, you got it. And I was like, Oh, okay, great. And then, um, the acting thing, I was like, if I can't, get this, then <laughs> I was like, what, what have I been doing my whole life? Like if I can't, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then choreography, I failed miserably. <laughs> no, I took hip hop classes when I was a kid. I think like every actor does when they're like eight years old. Everyone goes to that or Debbie Reynolds and they take hip hop classes on the weekend. Debbie Reynolds. Friends. Like that was what oh we did. So, so I failed the choreography thing. And then after that was the day before the network audition. So then we had the network audition and then I ended up seeing the guys walking in all together. I didn't know Carlos, didn't know James. And then I saw Logan and I was like, oh. This is great. Like, how know? perfect. <laughs> like, I know this guy. Yeah. So we had the audition, and then the guys, I mean, honestly, I think if they would have said that that they didn't, like, if they if the, if the network would have had a, an opinion about it and the guys would have had a different opinion, mm -hmm. I think I wouldn't have gotten the part. But mm -hmm. after we all chatted and got to know each other, they were kind of like, yeah, it's him. And then the network agreed I mean, I'm sure they had the, it's, it's right. their decision ultimately, but yeah, um, no, it certainly having helped. them, having them back me up really helped. Yeah. And then I got, I got the show and then now, I mean, I can't even imagine not being friends with those guys. I mean, they're like, you know, brothers for life forever. So that's amazing.